in uh, recommended systems, uh, we are uh, faced with a scenario where we are given ratings given by users for different objects like say movies. And we have to understand how to use the ratings for potentially future recommendations for a new user or potentially recommending a new movie to a user or potentially recommending a, you know rating which if extrapolating a rating potentially which can be given by a new user or an old user who has forgotten to give a rating etc etc. So what happens is the input to this become what is known as the user ratings to provide a feedback on different kinds of recommendations to be given to the end user or for rating etc. In such cases we use a technique called as matrix factorization or more specifically called NMF for non-negative matrix factorization. This is an interesting technique where what we try to do is we assume that the ratings given by a user is based on some hidden characteristic or what we call as latent semantic characteristic of the object, maybe the movies, which is making users, you know, base themselves to give such a rating. So, what our goal is using some kind of a machine learning approach, which may be some technique like non negative matrix factorization. To identify what are the characteristics which make users vote so to the corresponding movies. And such kind of an approach is uh, done by viewing technically the ratings matrix. Let us assume here we are talking about 7 users and for 6 movies, we see that there are 6 columns, 7 movies. We assume that, suppose there are uh, three broad hidden characteristics of the movies which is making the users use those characteristics to generate this or give this supplemental rating. Then what we break this into two parts, first one we we'll call them as the matrix with presenting how much each user likes the three characteristics of the movie. So let's name them, for example you can say that three characteristics are does it have a superstar like Amda Bajan or Ajit Khan? Is it an animated movie? Or does it have fights in the movie? So there are three different characteristics of the movie which is making them react based on the condition which they would give the ratings which are being correspondingly manifested in the ratings chart. So U matrix, which is a 7 by 3 matrix, actually gives something like the potential for each user to like the corresponding characteristics. For example, you may say that I have a superstar, uh, animation, or F, these are the three characteristics, right? So each of the user, I will have a matrix with seven rows and three columns. I may like this 1.5 times, two times, one time, like that. So what happens is this represents the relative measure of how much of these characteristics which the individual user likes times how much of that characteristic is present in each of the movie. So if you see here, we are talking about three characteristics, right? S, A and F. Then we talk about movie 1, movie 2, movie 6. So we form a what we call as 3 by 6 matrix which represents the question how much of superstar characteristics is present in movie 1, movie 2, movie 5, so on so it could be 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 1, 0 0.9, something like that. But the key idea is 
the time to evolve an unknown entity known as latent semantic hidden characteristics of the movies which is making users react the way they are and giving the ratings. So what we have done is we have taken the pain of giving some shape to these characteristics of the movie which are not overtly present in the ratings but internally they are the ones which are driving the corresponding behavior or the rating that is given. And this is a very common machine learning problem in recommended systems where given a ratings matrix you try to discover the hidden characteristics. In this case, we are talking about three characteristics, it could be four, five, but usually it is not a very large number of characteristics you work on. And you decompose the original rating matrix into two matrices such that the product is the rating matrix. So the machine learning problem becomes to find the component of U and V such that the product gives you the corresponding rating matrix. It is not exact, but it is somewhat approximate match product with that. And that will give you the hidden metric which corresponds to each movie which is responsible for users voting in that manner. So the machine learning problem here becomes the problem of matrix factorization where you take ratings matrix, factorize it into two smaller matrices, one representing users to characteristics, another representing characteristics to the movies with matrix. And this is a very powerful technique which is used for identifying hidden factors in large ratings matrices. Why is it useful? It is useful for, suppose there are some vacuums in this, some people have forgotten to give ratings. You can use this matrix to derive what the potential rating a user could have given for a specific movie. Or you can predict who are the ones which are users which are very similar in terms of ratings to what you know others have given. Or you can find out which is the movie which is very closely related to other movies. So all of this can be done by using the derived matrices which have been responsible for the target data that is given here. So you see that this is a very powerful technique for recommending systems in order for extracting latent hidden semantic factors for corresponding ratings which is a very important input for recommending systems and a very useful category of unsupervised learning.